Hi, I'm Jeremy Goldcorn for Downway TV, sitting high above Beijing CBD with Chan Kun Chang, the author of Sheng Shi Zhongguo, uh, The Fat Years, uh, a novel set in Beijing in 2013. Thank you for joining us on the Downway TV. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, so uh, this book has been making uh, a lot of waves in uh, China's intellectual and cultural circles in the last few months, even though it hasn't actually been published. Unexpectedly, it did. It created a lot of noise on the internet, and some mainstream um, weeklies uh, did some review on it. But it's about China. But in year 2013, um, and um, it's about the uh, fat years. It's called Shen Shen Shi. Since the literary meaning the prosperous age, and this is an old Chinese word referring to Very times old, of glory yeah. in Chinese right. history. Right, it usually referred to the Han and Tang dynasties, the really um, uh, peak of uh, uh, Chinese civilization. It hasn't been used for many, many years, probably a, over a hundred years. Now people are using it again. But this word came back, and I sort of think it represents the mood of the of the of the era now. And what happens in this book? The, the main character is Lao Chen, uh -huh. uh, and uh, he's in Beijing. What happens? Lao Chen is a, a long-time resident of Beijing, but he was from Taiwan. And uh, he lived a relatively comfortable life, and um, he, he, he feels everything's going fine in China, like most people probably in, in Beijing, especially the um, get rich first and the affluent people. And, um, it, it happened that he bumped into two friends who seem to be out of sync with this age. These two people are not happy. They, they think things changed, people changed, people around them um, become so happy with the um, present situation, they, they cease to be critical of the government. And these two persons are still looking for something that is almost a state secret. And Lao Chen, the Taiwanese writer, got into trouble because of these two old acquaintances he bumped into on the streets. And at the core of the book is a, is a concept about the forgetting of certain parts of history. Um, what, can you explain what, what, what that's about? Right. Um, I, I, I make it um, a very exaggerated case that people for, forgot a whole month of what had happened only two years ago. And um, before this Sun Shi, the prosperous age dawned in China, there was a month of um, um, really harsh um, suppression on all kinds of freedom by the state. But people seem to, forgot ev to, uh, to forget everything about it. And only this one of these the characters in, in this book is one called Fang. Fang still remember it, but nobody wants to talk to him about it. They genuinely forgot it. That's, that's what really made him curious. Why? What happened? And he tried to find out, he tried to collect evidence and um, tried to find out other people who still remember. That is one of the uh, storylines. How close is this to the reality that you see uh, in, around us in China today? I know it's, well, it's, it's sort it's of science uh, fiction, it's set yes. in the near future, but there are obviously a lot of it's parallels. It's of course more metaphorical, but I think people f um, forget a lot. And, um, or they try to not to remember P um, periods like um, 1989. Um, it's, it's not um, a topic that you can um, profess in the, in, uh, publicly. And uh, the younger generation really did not know anything about it now. And uh, even for, for the people who've been through that, memory are distorted in, in, in the sense that they now think maybe it's good for China, you know. So is yeah. there going to be a movie? Um, several major studio and, and um, directors um, asked for a copy of this, this book. Chan uh, Kuchang, thank you very much for appearing on Downway TV welcome. and best of luck with uh, Sheng Shi Zhongguo and The Fat Years, the English translation that will appear in the fall next year.